I'm Dr. Ahadia. I wanted to discuss the sleep disorders. Basically, sleep disorders uh, field is a uh, very uh, fast uh, growing uh, and uh, being paid attention uh, currently uh, due to the problems that causes uh, when we have a sleep uh, uh, deficiency. It uh, goes to a uh, psychiatrist or a internist or doctors. Usually, the problem that takes people to the doctor is basically when they cannot sleep. So, if you have anxiety, you with regard to dealing with life, and issues with regard to the neurotic uh, uh, preconditions that you go through on a daily basis, a lot of people don't seek therapy because of that until it gets to a point that their sleep is uh, disrupted. Now, the uh, ideology and the reasons that uh, uh, we have sleep problems uh, are uh, multiple. Uh, uh, one of the most important uh, issues that has to be uh, looked upon is the sleep uh, uh, disorder caused by psychiatric problems and uh, sleep disorders that are caused by uh, organic and problems related to the uh, structure of uh, uh, a uh, person's uh, uh, body. One of those important ones is sleep apnea. Sleep apnea is a condition that the person who suffers from that uh, during the night has multiple times of uh, uh, being uh, unable to breathe and the uh, air uh, flow is boring and uh, therefore multiple times of uh, small uh, stopping uh, uh, breathing and therefore lack of oxygenation to the brain and then um, uh, morning uh, tiredness and problems related with daily activity and a lot of problems with got to uh, driving accidents and concentration problems which all comes uh, because of not being able to sleep uh, at night. Is uh, uh, snoring at night, and therefore the uh, uh, the bed uh, loud snoring, and uh, uh, at times uh, uh, the patient stops breathing uh, multiple times during the night, and therefore uh, problems related with the daytime uh, aware. Uh, one of the ways to uh, do, uh, to diagnose uh, the sleep apnea is basically to have a uh, uh, night at the sleep laboratory that the uh, patient goes uh, and sleep in the, in the lab and uh, uh, put the EEG on uh, uh, the skull and uh, sleeps uh, throughout the night and uh, the, uh, the EEG is going to uh, show uh, basically if there are patterns in the sleep cycle uh, which is interrupted and therefore to come to diagnosis of sleep apnea. And uh, after diagnosis, there are different ways to deal with that. Uh, sometimes there's a surgery to uh, take the excess uh, uh, tissue around uh, the uh, uh, tonsils and uh, the back of the, the mouth to open up the airway so that the snoring would stop which uh, is not really that popular at present time, and there are other uh, ways of using uh, high-pressure masks uh, uh, that uh, uh, gives oxygen uh, uh, while the patient uh, and person is uh, sleeping so that uh, the oxygen flow would be uninterrupted. Now, the more important issue about the sleep disorder is that, uh, first of all, it has to be uh, diagnosed properly. So if somebody doesn't sleep at night and has a complaint about oh, my sleep is not good, it's not uh, supposed to be just be given some uh, uh, sleeping medication by uh, the physician who sees the patient. Therefore, you have to find out what are the reasons uh, that the sleep has been interrupted and disrupted, different reasons that uh, obviously we don't have time to discuss it in this uh, program.